I can't believe that this is really happening. I'm really confused. I found one cap. He's doing really, really well. <coughs> La Vigne Show, world's best overlander. That's me. <laughs> Good morning world, welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. <laughs> Good morning Bubble Bee. Good morning guys. We're here next to the small town of Agios Vasilios in Greece and we camped here last night sort of on the edge of this little park in town. Yesterday a lot of people were like walking around and there are a couple of other campers as well. Yeah, there was quite a lot of activity here last night to be honest. There was uh, groups of guys with cars driving around. And probably hundreds of dogs barking the whole night. Seriously. But to be honest, we are quite close to the city of Thessaloniki. All in all, we are really thankful for this spot here. It was a really peaceful night and it's always nice if we can find free camps like this. Yeah, no locals came and like bothered us. Nobody told us to leave, which is the most important thing. Yeah. <laughs> but we have an awesome day ahead here in Greece. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here and today we are heading east further into Greece to reach a place around here called the Arcturos Bear Sanctuary. The Arcturos Bear Sanctuary is supported by the organization that we support on this round the world trip, Born Free. So it's going to be super awesome to go there and check out the awesome stuff that they're doing. And see some awesome bears. <laughs> so it's about two and a half hours to the Bear Sanctuary and we still have to pack up everything. It's already eight o'clock, so better hit the road. Let's go. We've got a tasty spinach burek this morning for breakfast. <laughs> this is the breakfast of kings. This is the little breakfast, baby. Mm. Thanks, little. Okie dokie. Ati. Choki. So we thought first we would just ride down this little path because this camp said it was supposed to be next to a lake, but we haven't actually seen the lake. On the map I saw the lake. Oh, hold on a second. A little bit overgrown. <laughs> I think it's getting a little bit. <laughs> can I still go through the sea? Oh, I think I still can. Oh, yeah, look at this. I think that's about as close as we can get. Yeah. There we go. It was a lakeside camp after all. Oh, look there, look at the birds. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, some like, I think, cormorants. Oh, listen. You can hear them all. Yeah, Bumblebee is looking awesome as usual. Bumblebee's doing great. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just as I say that. Okay, ready? Ready! so nice overgrown here, I really like it. I like when nature can do what it's supposed to do, you know? Just grow and be wild. Goodbye beautiful camp, peaceful camp, except the dog barking the whole night. Always with the dogs, eh? Always with the dogs. Yeah. I think there's a church just around here because I heard this morning the church bells ringing. Yeah, that was really nice. What a beautiful spot. Yep. Nice, peaceful, quiet town. Yeah, the town's here in the Greece are really charming. Yeah, it's something I was really looking forward to was just yep. riding through all of these little towns and villages. Yeah, they just have like the, the detail of charmness here, you know? They put some flowers, they put like nice seating areas. Yeah, and all the houses with the terracotta roofs. Yeah. It's really cool. Well, look here, they're selling like ancient Greek columns. <laughs> How cool is that? It's amazing. I would love to have like one of these Greek columns over like the entrance to your house. I think it's really cool. And this figure there. Yeah, look at that. It's like a winged sphinx. Good morning. Good morning. 
the toll road is like 20 cents here for the motorbike 20 cents that's yeah. a good price thank you thank you bye bye <laughs> 20 cents <laughs> can't go wrong with that Thank you. One euro ninety three. Wow, that's expensive. Yeah, it's a good job that we filled up in Bulgaria, like full, just before we crossed the border. Because in Bulgaria, it was something like one euro forty. Forty. Thank you. Yeah. Now it's up to one euro ninety. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we found our lunch spot. Oh no! <laughs> I think it's closed, hey? <laughs> yes, it's, it's a Sunday. Oh yeah, it's a Sunday today. No little for us then. Doesn't look like there's anywhere we can stop for lunch. Sunday market going on, hey? Yeah, it's quite nice actually. Yeah, let's stop here. Okay. <laughs> I think I found the best cappuccino in the whole of Greece. That's so tasty. It's good. Mm. Finally found a place where we could just stop a little bit and just rest because we have done already a hundred miles. Yeah, I wanted to take a break a lot earlier, but there was just nowhere to stop. So now we're only about 10 miles from the bear sanctuary. So we thought we'd stop here, have a rest and then do the last little bit. Get over to there and see some cuddly bears. <laughs> Sounds good. So we made actually the coffee break to our office break. We're just using the Wi-Fi to book our ferry from Albania to Italy. So we found a ferry that goes from Vlora, which is in Albania, to Brindisi in Italy. It's an overnight ferry, leaving at like 11.30 p.m. and arriving at 7 a.m. the next morning. So we've booked this ferry in two days' time. Italy, here we come. Unfortunately, the ferry is a little bit expensive. It's like 180 euro. 180 euro. It's like 50 euro for me, 50 euro for Lavi, and 50 euro for Bumblebee, and then like 30 service fee. But we really, really wanted to visit Italy. Yeah, and I suppose I have to book Lavi a ticket as well. <laughs> So we couldn't resist to come and check out what they've got going on in this market because it just smells so good and I'm so hungry. There's just like this smell of grilled meat coming off of this market. Oh my God. Should we find out how much it is for like a, a, a pitta? Yeah, okay. Or they have even like a hot dog. Should we have a hot dog? Yeah, let's have a hot dog. Have a hot dog. Huh? No? Yeah, yes? Okay, no problem, we go to cash. Okay, we've got to get some cash first, hey? Cool, look at this. Looks like the whole village is here. <laughs> yeah, this was like not a very big village as well. Wow. Look at this, it's a giant pizza paddle. <laughs> cool. Nice. Georgios. Ayakovo Guys, search on YouTube Georgios Ayakovo Is this awesome fella here with his 12 string guitar Turn around Oh my lord, what do you got there? Okay, let's get something in our bellies, hey? Oh yes It's time for a hot dog Hello. Hello. Uh, two uh, hot dogs, sausage, sausage. sausage. Pita or sandwich? Uh, mm, pita. Yes, perfect. 
Thank you. Where are you from? Uh, from England. England. Yes. You are from here. I'm from Edinburgh. Okay. How far is that? That's the limit of Namibia. It's uh, one hour from here. Okay. People come from far away for this market. Yes, yes. Really cool. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. It's time to eat, hey? Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> cool. That turned out to be a nice little stop, didn't it? Yeah. At the beginning, we were like, oh, we can't stop anywhere here. Here's no petrol station. Nothing is going on here. And then suddenly, boom. Suddenly, we found out where everybody was. Yeah, exactly. They were all at the market. <laughs> yes. Nice pitch stop here for sure. Yep. But now I'm ready to see some bears. Yeah, it's time to continue to our real mission for the day, to head to the Arcturus Sanctuary. Yeah. So we headed up into the mountains to try and find this bear sanctuary and it's blocked here. So I'm not sure what that means. Let me see. Arturos. Yes. Ah. It's, it's okay? Ah, up there. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Apparently it's all right. Let's go here. What a quaint little village. Thank you. But yeah, I wouldn't say this is the easiest place to get to. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what is going on here. Hello. She seemed to know where we wanted to go. Yeah. She was like, Actoros, and I was like, yep. Apparently we're going the right way. I'm really not sure. Yeah. Look at this village. Oh man. <laughs> This village is crazy. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I think I never ever have seen such a beautiful village with the stone buildings. Not the smoothest road, but <laughs> with beautiful buildings. <laughs> what the hell what kind of place is this? Apparently you have to go up here. Oh man. What the hell? I don't really like that too much. Nope. Oh, I can see something you can see something yeah look there's a bear there's a bear on the pool pole oh yeah so we go this way <laughs> again i really don't know what parts we're allowed to ride on and not i have no idea because i feel like we're on like a walking path yeah me too but at the same time it's exactly the same as all the roads in the town it says it's half a mile down this path okay <laughs> this is a crazy way <laughs> Okay, let's see what's going on. Maybe this is close enough. Oh yeah, look, car access is not permitted. Okay. You are close to the bear sanctuary. Walk quietly on the path as to not disturb the animals. Okay. 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 Bye, Bubblebee. Bye-bye. Okay, so let's go find some bears. Yes. Here. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, so we're in. Now, apparently they do like a guided tour every hour, but we're like 15 minutes late, but they said we can just catch up and join them now, so we're just heading to find the group. They gave us some information in English because they said pretty much everything's in Greek, <laughs> so we'll just kind of read from our paper. So 
So whilst this bear is bathing in the background, I'll just tell you guys a bit about this sanctuary and this organization, Arcturos. So Arcturos is a non-government organization founded in 1992 in Thessaloniki. And here in this sanctuary, there are 22 former captive bears in 25 hectares of land. And all of the bears here were rescued from illegal captivity. And it's really interesting because although it's one sanctuary, one giant enclosure, all the bears are actually in separate apartments within the big enclosure because actually bears are very territorial and very solitary so they had to put groups of bears together that are a similar age or that they were siblings and knew each other before otherwise the bears would have just fought each other because it's not how they're living in the wild So although the training of dancing bears has actually been illegal in Greece since 1969, it was only due to the intervention of the Arcturus organization in 1992 that they managed to get the government to start ending the practice. And eventually, in 1996, they managed to completely end the practice of dancing bears in Greece. And all the bears that were captured came to this sanctuary and also amazingly for the first time in Europe this organization managed to rehabilitate on three different occasions four orphaned bear cubs usually orphaned bear cubs can't be brought back into the wild because they haven't been taught how to survive and find food how to be a bear basically so this organization worked with these cubs and took them on a survival course a bear survival course and actually trained them to survive in the wild and now these bears have been released back into the wilds of Greece which is absolutely amazing. Wow, what an incredible place. They have to feed each bear 20 to 30 kilos of food every single day. So it's a big task. And it's really interesting because 90% of the diet is actually vegetarian. Yeah, they feed them fruits, vegetables, apparently honey, nuts. So they get a really nice varied diet to basically try to mimic what these bears would be eating in the wild whilst foraging. There are estimated to be 500 brown bears living in the wild in Greece. So the bears that are kept here are kept actually in the same conditions and eating the same foods that those bears would be eating in the wild. But all this upkeep and food costs a lot of money. And one of the organizations that supports this sanctuary is Born Free, the charity that we are actually supporting on this round the world trip. So if you want to find out more about Born Free's work with this sanctuary or their work with different organizations and sanctuaries all over the world, then head to the link in the description. And if you'd like to make a contribution, we have a Just Giving page that we've set up, raising money for Born Free on this trip. Or if you want to buy one of our Overlander tees, for every t-shirt we will donate a pound as well to Born Free. All that money will be going to Born Free and indirectly to these guys right here at Arcturos. All right. Goodbye, beautiful brown bears of Greece. <laughs> Goodbye. I always like places like this, just doing good for the local wildlife of their country, trying to restore ecosystems, rehabilitate wildlife. It's just an amazing thing to see. And you can just see the way that those bears are living now, as opposed to in captivity, in cages, being put on display for the profit of their owners. Yeah, they definitely deserve now a peaceful, life yeah they get their 20 to 30 kilos of vegetables every day yeah this is like the perfect life for them here whoa look at this okay okay it's a bit a little bit bumpy and now we go this way and it's really cool as well because our guide for the visit we told him that we were looking for a camp in this area and he actually recommended one place to us which is only a mile from here 
it's like an artificial reservoir just up here on the mountain and he said the place is owned by the owners of the sanctuary and he said that it's absolutely fine for us to go and camp there he said it's a really nice and peaceful place to spend the night he says he spends the night there he goes camping there super cool but can i just mention again the nice stone buildings here in this village look at this road wow oh whoa, whoa 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 oh my lord hold on a minute okay it's getting a bit getting a bit much isn't it yeah okay do we have to go down here apparently so okay oh my lord oh <laughs> yeah this must be a really ancient village what a beautiful little village hello oh my lord oh <laughs> Very good, my love. Very good. Wow, this village is not made for vehicles. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, okay. Yes, a little bit of tarmac. Oh, please. It's just a mile down here. Whoa, nice. Look at these views. Stunning. Yeah, we are quite high up on the mountain now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But apparently it's drier up here than down there. So the guide actually said, even though it might be colder, it should be drier in the morning. So actually we won't feel the cold as much. Well, we will let you know tomorrow morning. Yeah, he said it will get cold though. I think we have to go actually up here. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah? I think okay. so, yep. Okay. There is actually a tarmac road just there. Oh no. I think we just missed the tarmac road somehow. Oh no. Thanks how we, Google. How did we miss that? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. Bumblebee can handle it. Yeah, just about. There we go. <laughs> oh, Off-road adventure done. Yeah. So apparently the place is is just here. Oh, okay. Um, but I'm not sure. Ah, I see a path there. Okay. There, there, there. Okay. So hopefully this joins up with us here. Yeah. Uh, maybe a bit further. And then back. Ah, oh, yeah, here, here. Yep. That's it. Okay. Okay. Some bear poop. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's probably cow. Whoa, look at this area here. This is beautiful. Wow. I think this is supposed to be a reservoir, but there's oh. no I think there's not much water in it at the okay. moment. Okay. And then he said there's like this little stone building here. Oh, wow. And he said you can camp either inside the building or wherever really cool so i think this is it <laughs> oh man how lucky hey yeah look at that our private little hut <sighs> private stone hut for the night let's check it out <laughs> cool oh wow oh nice It's got a little fireplace as well. A nice little simple house for the night. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow, that is that is a nice, nice, nice view around. Look at this, guys. And the awesome thing is as well, he told us that there's actually a wolf sanctuary, which is back down in the valley where we came from. And the ticket that we bought today, the eight euros per person, we actually get entry to that wolf sanctuary as well. So we're going to go there tomorrow morning. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. It looks stunning. So we will just make camp for now. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.
guys, I want to show you inside our little palace. So we built up our tent actually inside here because we reckon it's going to be warmer. And as well, we will make a fire tonight. We have a big day tomorrow and we desperately need a good night of sleep. So I think like this, we will probably have a good night. Yeah, it looks like they've got like foam around the edges of the window and foam around the edges of the door. So yeah, hopefully that'll keep the wind out. And then if we wrap up warm inside the tent with a fire going, yeah. I think it's gonna be pretty good. Fingers crossed. I think somebody tried, tries to get firewood, eh? Yes! <laughs> Careful, my love. Very good. Gonna get some logs, eh? Uh-oh. Nice that one doesn't break. Later that same evening. So we got our log pile here. And we've got our roaring fire here. Look at that. We just need marshmallows now. <laughs> this is so nice and cozy. Look at this. Wow. It's a great shelter for the night. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, I love it. Doesn't get much better than that, hey? So warm and cozy.